In her nonfiction work, The Sociopath Next Door, The Ruthless vs. The Rest of Us, 2005, Martha Stout endeavors to provide an accurate portrayal of sociopaths, also known as psychopaths. These individuals lack a conscience, devoid of emotions like love or sorrow, living their lives as if they were actors in a play, free from shame or guilt. Stout's objective is to educate readers, offering guidance to help them avoid falling prey to the manipulative and abusive relationships sociopaths often create. As both a self-help guide and an informational resource on this troubling condition, the book reflects Stout's background as a psychologist with experience at institutions such as Harvard Medical School, Wellesley College, and the McLean Psychiatric Hospital. Her expertise is evident in her contributions to publications like the Boston Globe, the Huffington Post, and the New Republic. Stout examines individuals who, unburdened by a conscience, employ deceit and manipulation to achieve their goals without feeling any remorse or guilt. The Sociopath Next Door explores how sociopaths can operate outside societal norms, displaying characteristics such as impulsivity, aggression, irresponsibility, and a lack of concern for safety, according to the DSM-4. The book outlines seven defining traits of sociopathic behavior, including failure to conform to social norms, deceitfulness, impulsivity, aggression, irresponsibility, and a lack of concern and remorse for antisocial actions. A sociopath typically exhibits three or more of these symptoms. Stout, citing statistics, asserts that approximately 4% of the population comprises sociopaths. Through examples, Stout illustrates the destructive potential of sociopaths, emphasizing that their impact is not limited to world leaders or corporate figures, but can be found within families and friendships. Sociopaths, motivated by boredom, thrive on creating chaos and pain in others' lives, often drawing in unsuspecting victims before they realize the danger. While the book doesn't provide a clear explanation for the origins of sociopathy, Stout suggests a mix of nature and nurture. She acknowledges the absence of a cure due to the challenge of fostering a conscience in someone who has never possessed one. The author, however, offers guidelines for dealing with sociopaths, cautioning against susceptibility to flattery and the manipulation of pity. Stout draws on her experiences with trauma survivors and patients to shape her narrative emphasizing the significance of the conscience and the deep, intrinsic gift it brings. Despite occasional criticism for potentially appealing to paranoia, The Sociopath Next Door stands as a compelling exploration of a complex and unsettling phenomenon. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.